Do you want to install the leaked version of Windows 11, but are getting stuck at this error message saying that your PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements? Well, here's how to solve that. First, download a fresh Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft's website. That'll be linked in the description below. You'll also need a copy of the Windows 11 ISO, which I'll leave you to find. But once you have both of them, open them up. In my case, I already use 7-zip, so I have them open here, with the Windows 10 ISO being at the top and the Windows 11 files being at the bottom. You'll also want to create a new folder on your hard drive, not your USB stick. I'm naming my folder Windows 11, you can name it what you like, and you will want to copy all of the files from the Windows 10 ISO into that folder. Once it has copied everything, open up that folder and then also the folder called sources. Find install.wim and delete it. Then from the Windows 11 ISO in the sources folder, copy that install.wim to where you just deleted the last one. Alternatively, you can reverse this process and copy the Windows 11 files instead into your folder and using the Windows 10 copies of the files appraiser.dll and appraiser.sdb, replacing the ones that you just added in your folder with the Windows 10 copies, and you'll get the same result. You can then open ImageBurn, a free program that'll let us turn our folder back into an ISO that we can write to our USB stick. You will want to select the option that says create image from files slash folders, then click the folder with a magnifying glass in the sources box and select the folder we've been building so far. In the destination box, pick somewhere to write our new ISO to, uh, give it a name, and finally in the advanced tab, click the bootable disk tab under that, check make image bootable, select a boot image from your Windows 11 folder that we've been creating inside the folder called boot, and select the file that is called etfsboot.com, then change the sectors to load to eight, then you can press the go button in the bottom left. Once it's completed, open up your bootable USB stick burning tool of choice. Mine is Rufus. In this case, all we need to do is select our USB stick, select the ISO image that we have just created, and then press start. It's probably gonna take a while, even on a USB 3 stick, so it, you know, have some patience, let it finish, and then once it's done, you're ready to go and install it just like you would any other copy of Windows. So you'll take your USB stick and plug it into the PC you want to install to, uh, turn the PC on. In my case, I am spamming the F12 key to open up the boot menu so I can select the USB stick as the device I'm booting from. And then you're in the Windows installation menu and you can basically just press next until it's finished installing. As a final note, this is a very early beta and leaked copy of Windows 11, and so it's personally not something that I would want to switch to right now as my main PC. If you're just having a play on a spare system or a spare hard drive, fair enough, but like I said, I personally wouldn't recommend you try and switch to Windows 11 just yet. Also, if you're interested in seeing a video on benchmarking Windows 11, seeing if there's any performance differences, then do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments down below. There are plenty of links in the description if you want to support the channel. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.